hi and welcome uh, i hope you are good uh, in this video i'll talk about how to extract the date information uh, from a timestamp using pandas so let's start with uh, importing pandas uh, so import pandas as pd uh, now this timestamp could be uh, a date time column in a pandas data frame so i've taken a small scenario here i've taken some dummy dates and created a data frame out of it so when we run this so we have a data frame which has a column named timestamp now this data frame has a single column and that the, the column name is timestamp so if we do df dot time underscore stamp it would give a, a series but this uh, i am printing here what i am printing here is the full data frame so uh, the expected outcome for our question that is how to extract uh, date uh, information from a timestamp using pandas uh, so the, our expected outcome is output is that we want to extract the date information. Now let's let's take the first row of this data frame. Uh, so we have uh, the date information here that is 2017-10-01, and then we ha also have the time time information that is hours, minutes, and seconds. So 15, 23, 25. Uh, so we just want to extract the date information. So 2017-10-07. Similarly. From all the entries of this uh, column, we want to extract the date information. So uh, I'll be talking about uh, two methods of doing the same thing. Uh, first is a direct method, second, but the, but the second method is more generalized and we can change the format of the date uh, as per our requirement. So let's start with the method number one, met first method. So for the first method, uh, I'll be using the dot dt dot date. So uh, dot dt is the uh, accessor, and we'll be using the we'll be extracting the date attribute from from it. So what it returns is it returns the date part of timestamps without the time zone. So we'll be excluding the time zone. Only the date information will be extracted. So uh, let's before before doing anything, let's uh, let's look at how the data frame now what are the different data types of the uh, data frame so right now i have a single column that is uh, time underscore stamp and uh, it has seven non non null values and if you look at it if the uh, if you look at the uh, data type of it it's object now uh, the first thing we need uh, to use the dot dt accessor uh, is to convert that particular column or uh, the column from which we want to extract the date is to convert that column into a date time object so right now it's an uh, date time object column so right now it's an object column that means it's a string so to convert uh, a, a date time column into a uh, uh, basically to convert the data type from uh, object to date time object we, we need to use pd dot to underscore date time so, so let let's start uh, let's start the coding part here. So I'll take this series uh, time underscore stamp. So if I just print it, is this? So right now it's object. To convert it into date time object, all I need to do is df time stamp dot. Okay, just sorry. Uh, it's pd dot to date time this is all this is all we need to do to convert that uh, data frame from object to date time uh, object okay so now let's see df dot info now it's a date time object so now once it is converted into a date time object we can extract the date information using dot d dot dt dot uh, date uh, so so let's uh, extract the date information from here it's time underscore stamp dot dt dot date okay so if you look at our uh, look at our uh, column df we have extracted the date information here so uh, now all we need to do is add the extracted date as a new column so to do that let's call it data i'm calling it cap in caps d a t e 
we we should avoid uh, using a column name or a variable name which could be a function name uh, in python or in any of the packages so uh, that's why i am i am uh, making it caps so to add that we just need to df time stamp dot dt dot date and let's print the data frame okay so this is what this was our objective that we want that we wanted to add the extract the date information and add it as an additional column so this was the first method and now this is a, a fairly direct method that we just first need to convert it into a date time uh, object and then uh, use the dot dt dot date uh, to extract the uh, date information now there is another method uh, which is a more generalized method compared to the first method so what it does is uh, it's a dot dt dot strf time strf time so it returns the string representation of the date depending on the selected format now in this in the first case we get the information only in one format that is yymmdd but in case we want to change the format of this output then we can use uh, strf time so format must be a string containing one or several directives so these are the directive here I, i'll i'll just come to it uh, now in this case also when we are using strf time strf time the first thing that we need to do is is to convert the uh, column the date time column into a date time object uh, now in our case i have already converted it but let's start from the scratch i am using the initial data frame and the first thing is that we need to convert it into a date time object so that is df time stamp i'm just repeating it this is a repeat code equal to pd dot to date time time stamp okay okay why is this error coming so this should be a series okay so so now this has been converted into a date time object now we need to understand few things here uh, we have to use use a format uh, in which we want our date information to be extracted now for that we need something called directive now if you look at the, this link i'll share this link uh, in the description so these are all the directives and this tell this tells us in what format do we need our output to be so there are multiple there are a uh, number of uh, options given here so i have extracted few of the options uh, to make it simpler for example uh, if the directive is percentage y cap in caps percentage y that means we want to extract the year with century as a decimal number for example 1990 or 2020 now if we have percentage m that means the month we are we want to extract the month as a decimal number that is 0 1 to 12 now in now in case we don't want it as numbers we want it as month name for example january or december then we have to use uh, percentage sign b and uh, if we want to if we want to extract the day of the month we have to use percentage d that is uh, day of the month as a decimal number that will vary from 0 uh, from 1 to 31 okay so let's let's take an example Let, let's take few of the few examples here uh, let's say i want to extract the date in this format this is the normal format which we extracted using dot dt dot date uh, method attribute so let's do the same thing using strf time so to do that what we need to do is df timestamp then dot dt dot strf time now here we we need to give it the given the directives uh, i have just put in for uh, for ease but i'll just type it percentage y 
hyphen percentage m hyphen percentage d so this is yy mm yy hyphen uh, y y y y hyphen mm hyphen dd now in case you don't want this hyphen let's say you you want it uh, as space so the 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 required output so we can just uh, uh, give whatever format we want let's say you you was you want a slash so in whatever format we want the date to be extracted we just need to give in that format and string we just need to make sure that uh, the directives are correct now it's uh, but you, it's good to refer to these things if you because you might forget which directive to use so it's uh, like i would suggest you just have a look at this table and see in what format do you want the output to be so this was one of the example let's take another example let's say you want uh, the output of the date to be uh, 2020 hyphen december now here i don't want the month as no numbers but i want it uh, as a month name and then uh, the the date so to do that we do df that is our data frame time stamp dot dt dot strf time now here we'll do percentage wise same instead of percentage m we need to give percentage b and then percentage d is same that is date okay so now our output is in this format we have the year part we have the month as a month as in month name and then the date part okay now also we can rearrange uh, the format of our date so uh, instead of uh, year month and day uh, let's say we want day month and year that is d d m m y y y uh, sorry y y so to do that we can we just need to do the same thing df time underscore stamp dot dt dot stuff time percentage y sorry uh, it's in d d m m y y format percentage d hyphen uh, let's uh, say we want the uh, date uh, sorry the month in the num numerical format m and percentage y so this is dd mm yy now in case just uh, one more example let's say i don't want this in <coughs> sorry let's say i don't want this in uh, uh, yy yy format i just want yy so to do that i just need to change the capital y to small y so this will be uh, in the two digit format the year will be in the two digit format rather than a four digit format so uh, this is a very powerful method uh, using directive because we can extract the date in the format we want because our requirement would differ depending on different scenarios so so right now i have told you two methods so let's summarize both both the methods uh, so the first step is to convert convert the timestamp column into date time object okay then second so method number 1 i just write it down so we have so once it is converted into a timestamp uh, it will be a series basically if we df dot timestamp so we all we need to do is series dot dt dot date now this will give the output in uh, y y y y hyphen d d hyphen sorry hyphen m m hyphen d d format so year month and day format now in case you want to generalize it we just need to do series dot d t dot s t r f time and we need to give here the directive so i'll just write uh, let's say directive i'll take an example so we just should be yes. so in in quotes 
परसेंटेज वाई हाइफन एम परसेंटेज एम हाइफन परसेंटेज डी ओके सो दिस इज द समरी ऑफ वट एवर वी हैव डन वी हैव द मेथड नंबर वन वेर वी आर यूजिंग डॉट डी टी डॉट डेट एंड देन वी आर यूजिंग मेथड नंबर टू दैट इज वी आर यूजिंग डॉट डी टी डॉट स्टेप टाइम एंड द फर्स्ट थिंग वी नीड टू डू इज इट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू अ डेट टाइम ऑब्जेक्ट अदरवाइज इट विल गिव एन एर सो दिस वॉज ऑल फॉर टूडेज वीडियो uh i hope it was useful thank you and take care